Hi guys, welcome to Java Express channel. So hope we completed what is abstraction and what are the possible use cases. Okay, we completed in the previous session. So today let me discuss about why abstract class cannot be instantiated. It's very, very important question guys. If you take a normal class, okay, you can able to create a object, you can able to call your methods, right? But why specially, why can't create a object for the abstract class? If you face this kind of an interview question, just try to understand the scenario, then I will be share you some couple of points to, to you so that you will get a more clarity on the abstract class. Okay, so let me open the Eclipse. Already we developed an application like a bank application we created, right? Now, if you see here inside this bank, okay, we have an abstract class. Hope everyone is clear what is an abstract class, which type of methods we can define. Hope you are all aware. If you see here, uh, let me delete this particular, okay, that's fine, no issues. Now, if you see here, I have a constructor, okay? If you create an object, uh, normally, see guys, if you create a normal class, okay, let me create a normal class here, just to see here. Uh, let me take as a test class, okay? Now, uh, assume that just you return one method, uh, void m1, and here, uh, let me make it as a m1. Okay, and assume that uh, you, you have a constructor. How do you, this is your constructor. Now, if you create a main method, you can able to create successfully your object obj equals to new test class. Now, there is a test class. Okay, now, so I, uh, guys, if you observe here, obj dot m1, you can able to call by you have the functionality of your m1 method. That's why JVM will allocate the memory and obviously it can instantiate non-static methods and non-static variables. If you create a static method by using the class name, you can able to create. But in case of the abstract class, just have a look guys. In case of abstract class, here functionality is available. If you create a object, no issues, but there is a special method, abstract method. Here, for this particular method, we don't have any logic. That's why, okay, we can, if, if you try to create a bank object, it will throw an exception. Have a look here, which type of exception? Now it, it is saying that cannot instantiate. Why? Because your abstract class is not fully implemented class. That is, that's why, okay, compiler will not accept. Now let me write a point here. Why abstract class cannot be instantiated? Means very first point we can say, the main reason we can say, because it is not fully implemented. Okay, it is not kind of fully implemented class. So it's abstract methods cannot be executed. That's why we cannot create the object for your abstract class. Assume that if, assume that if a compiler allows, assume that you have a chance, compiler allows to create, okay, object for, object for abstract class, then what will happen? We can invoke abstract method. Suppose compiler given a chance, Hey, please go and create in that case what happened we can invoke the abstract method using that object if you if you provide that kind of action which cannot be executed by jvm at runtime why right? because there is no logic just you define the method body that's why abstract class we cannot okay call the i mean we cannot create the object so that's why hence to prove that so to restrict calling abstract methods, compiler, I can say compiler does not allow us to instantiate. Okay, I can say to instantiate abstract class. That's it. This is the reason, okay? We cannot create an object for your abstract class. Okay, apart from that, I have another question guys. Have a look here. 
couple of questions. Just I'm giving some couple of sec, uh, time to you. Just have a look here. Can we declare? Can we declare abstract methods as finite? What is the problem here? Have a look. Abstract methods as a finite. Okay. First of all, why we need a finite? If you define any method as the finite, you cannot inherit. That's why if you say your answer should be a no, because because it should be okay. It should be allowed allowed to be. I can say allowed to overridden. I can say allowed to be a overridden in the subclass. That's why you cannot you cannot able to make your abstract methods as a fine. Now have a look here. Let me show you here itself only. Now, where is our bank? This is the class. Here, if you make as a final here, see here what happened. Abstract method deposit in the type bank can set a visibility modifier, one of public or protected. Either you can keep a public or a protected, only two access specifiers are allowed, remaining modifiers are not allowed for this particular abstract methods. That's why final is the invalid. The answer will be a no. That is the uh, another point. Okay. Now, another same as it is, can we declare, can we declare abstract method as a private? Have a look here. Now, answer should be a no. Why? Because if you make any variable or a method as a private, you cannot access outside the class. That's why if you make as a because it should be inherited, it should be inherited to subclass and it leads to what happened? It leads to compilation exception. That's why you cannot make your methods, abstract methods as a final and abstract methods as a private. Just have a look here. Uh, let me show you here. Let me instead of the public, just change it to the private. That's it. See, same kind of an exception. It is a throwing that one can be a public or can be a protected. That's it. So that's why even you cannot make your abstract methods okay, as a final. Same meaning, just to try to provide this answer. How can you force, how can you force subclass to override? You know the answer, guys override super class method what this question is saying if you define a method in the super class how can you force hey please go and implement my method how can you force try to think this answer will be very easy just you need to creating as a abstract method that's it by creating method as a abstract abstract method this is a very very simple answer so you need to Okay, whenever you are reading, just have a look what is the abstraction, okay, which type of methods you can define, okay, can we declare methods as a final, can we declare methods as a private, and how can you force, these are all tricky interview questions in interview, commonly, they will be test your knowledge, okay, how much you know in the abstraction, how much you are strong in the oops principle. Okay, so that's all about the abstraction concept is completed. Now we'll start interface in the next session. Okay, guys, thank you. Keep watching. Please subscribe our channel.